Today, Governor Cooper is expected to ease pandemic restrictions in North Carolina. Health Secretary Mandy Cohen says our trends are moving in the right direction, which is what is needed in order to loosen restrictions. Rachel Lumberg joining us now. So, Rachel, we don't know exactly what the governor is going to announce, but we're thinking that any sort of uh, loosening of restrictions will be big for business. Yes, and those businesses are really at the edge of their seat, waiting to see if anything does happen today. It's a big talker as everybody wakes up. We've got a lot of reaction that I'll get to in just a minute. But first, from our sister station up in Raleigh, they're reporting that the governor could ease restrictions on school sports and bars as early as today. Now, right now, indoor sports can't have more than 25 fans. For outdoor sports, they can't have more than 100 I'm sure you remember we've talked about a local petition started by a mom to change exactly that. Now, we're also awaiting this morning word on how this could impact the Charlotte Hornets. Let's talk about the state of bars. They've got to stop selling alcohol to drink on site by 9 p.m., and they're also operating at a limited capacity. The North Carolina Bar and Tavern Association, they are all for easing these restrictions. They uh, released this statement from their president, you see on your screen, asking Governor Cooper to let them have a couple extra hours of alcohol sales because a lot of them are just simply drowning in debt at this point. So like I said, a lot of you guys have reacted to this overnight. Tamara says that it's just too soon for this, but Hayes commented that this sounds like it could be too good to be true. And then another person is asking for more. If we're going to ease back some restrictions, can we also reduce the restrictions on outdoor weddings? Text us what you think about this. If you do think that the governor should ease restrictions and what it should look like, our number is 704-329-3600. Guys, back to you. Listen, we know these small businesses are the backbone, the absolute backbone of our economy, and they have been patient and for the most part played along and have taken really the brunt of a lot of the pain when it comes to the economic uh, downturn that's happened. So. Uh, for their sake, I hope they get some good news. Yeah, and, and you know, we have to also think about the fact that it's on us at this point. If restrictions get loosened a bit, we have to all keep up with wearing masks and social distancing because it's on us to, to help the virus leave. <laughs> we need to stop yeah. the spread of it, and so we can do that.